Love Us Eat. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a cleaning motivation video. I am feeling a little blah today, but I still want to get you guys motivated to get cleaned up. It is Thursday, Friday Eve. It's been a long week with lots of different storms in my states. I hear Texas is in a state of emergency, so let's all pray for Texas. It is also another day of the No Paper Towel Challenge with the counter cloth. And I will be doing my light switches and doorknobs, cleaning them today, making them all nice and shiny. You should be doing these at least twice a week. People overlook them. They are constantly being touched and touched more than you think. So use this just by adding water and give it a nice scrub. And they'll become nice and shiny with your counter cloth. Neem Haley, a friend of mine, is my counter cloth dealer. N-E-E-M as in Mary, O-H-E-A-L-Y. To look her up, to ask her about the counter cloth, and you too can get them. They are $21.99, a three pack, I believe. Well worth the investment over paper towels over the course of time. I don't use too many paper towels to begin with, but I will reduce that to just food only. I wrap them around my celery, and we use it to drain our bacon, and that's all we'll be using them for, and they'll be lasting a really long time. At this time, look for that red subscribe word, and if you are new, thank you so much for joining me. Give this video a big thumbs up, and tap the bell so you can get all my notifications from my cooking and cleaning, organizing, tips, tricks, and hacks, Dollar Tree hauls, grocery hauls, and free food hauls, so I can keep you in the know and help you stay motivated to get your home clean and decluttered. Last night I did a cool hack on Facebook Live for extra storage using command hooks, zip ties, and a plastic bag. And it's sounding like a MacGyver episode, which is all new tomorrow, and I'm all excited for my TV show. So I'll be getting my TV room all cleaned up tomorrow so I can enjoy my TV show in my nice cozy room. With that said, let's get into the video. I put this plastic bag on the command hooks with zip ties so it stays secure. And I keep my cloths in the bag and they're off the shelf and I have extra storage. And I noticed my Facebook angles weren't that great so I will give you a better look at the organizing that I did underneath my kitchen sink. We washed it completely out and added a new tile. And it looks really nice and organized. And I found a way to get my brushes onto the door and free up even more room, which I'll be doing in a future video. I will be doing the dishes in my sink this morning. This is a very old apartment. So excuse all the imperfections. And I will be working on my menu for the next two weeks today. The dishes are all done. And they'll dry and I'll put them away. I just washed down my countertop. And I'm finishing my coffee. I did my stove. I still have to sweep in here. I mopped yesterday. microwave in and out is cleaned. Once the coffee's done, I will take care of the coffee maker. I used the Dollar Tree oven cleaner in my oven recently, and look how beautiful it looks. The counter cloth, just lightly. Go over the light fixture. These get touched a lot during the day, and if you have a large family, more than you think. So you should do them a couple times a week to keep them germ-free. Just by adding a little bit of water 
this baby can do a big job. A lot of my doorknobs are old. And this one is not too old where it's not wood. I live in a 140-year-old house, and I have the flat upstairs. I had small children at one time that are now tweens and teen, so the doors get imperfect with scuffs, scratches, and stains. How shiny that came out and some of the stain came out and I might try my magic eraser with the ones that are more stubborn. This cloth is amazing. I am going to take everything off the rod of the closet and I'm going to redo it to make it more useful and give myself some more room. These lockers are really nice but they end up becoming clutter catchers in a closet. Tired of cord and extension cord clutter, take a zip tie, roll them up, and zip tie it, but not too tight, so you can cut them when you need them, and then hang them up on a command hook. I am going to use my space saving hanger, because it's vertical, and my seasonal won't go all the way across, it'll go up and down, and it holds quite a bit, as you saw in my other video with all my heavy tops and sweaters. And the command hook is tucked in the back holding my extension cord. And don't tie the zip tie so tight you can't cut it when you need it. I don't use it too often, usually just around the holidays like Christmas. So it will stay there until next season. I did my closet about two, three months ago. And this all accumulated within that time or it didn't get put back correctly. So I'm going to go through and purge, toss, and keep. And as I posted on Facebook, one of my rules is get rid of five or six items when you're doing a zone. And then organize and put them back neatly. And you should do this every time you declutter a zone to see how much you can get rid of. Okay, I am going to go through all this stuff. And I'm going to get rid of at least ten items. I'm going to fill my bag as much as I can, and I'm going to put back one locker in my closet because I'm trying to become somewhat of a minimalist, but not to the point where it doesn't look like we have personality in our home, and I'm going to dive right in, and I'm going to tackle this. Here is my closet afterwards. It's small, but it's more organized, and I can get things easily now. I put a deep bucket down there and it's housing my contact paper so it's not all over. I put bins inside the locker to hold more stuff so it looks neater instead of everything just sticking out. The over the door hanger, I'm using it on this extension rod and I'm housing extra brushes and seasonal items. I'm very proud of this using the command hooks in a different angle and a, a tube holding my duct tape and the S hook is holding backpacks, bags and my seasonal purses and the vertical hanger is housing at least 40 decorations for different holidays with ease and it will not go anywhere. If you liked today's video, thank you so much for stopping by and taking time to get to know me and learn what you can do to organize your life better one zone at a time and get it decluttered and regain your space and own it once again instead of having the clutter take control. Give this video a big thumbs up so I know to do more decluttering videos because I have other areas of the house that need to be organized once and for all and stay organized. At this time, look for that red subscribe word and please click on it. Thank you.
again, give this video a big thumbs up. Then tap the bell to get all my notifications so you can get it all done.